Jonas Blixt is one of golf's rising stars. The colourful Florida-based Swede has won twice on the PGA Tour in the last three years and has come within touching distance at majors as well. Jonas made the journey to London for the recent Volvo World match play, which is where Golfing World caught up with him. As you get older and as your career progresses, um, there's different things that you need to work on and different feelings that you get. Um, you know, the feelings that I had during my first one are not the same that I had my, uh, the second time around. And um, you learn from them and you, you take stuff away from them that, that you keep you know, in mind uh, at times, but uh, it's, it's always a little different. Jonas struggled for consistency this year, falling from 42nd in the world rankings at the end of 2013 to 60th in the world now. Crucially, that's outside the top 50 who get into the majors and the World Golf Championships. And having got a taste of those this year, he wants more in 2015. First of all, I'd probably have to get back and get my world rankings down a little bit and to get in all the majors. And uh, after that, hopefully I can strive to get one under my belt. But, um, you know, you go into every tournament trying to win the tournament and, uh, yeah, but Majors are definitely like one of the highlights for, I think, all players. The high point of his 2014 season came at Augusta National in April, when he finished alongside Jordan Spieth in a tie for second at the Masters, three shots behind the winner, Bubba Watson. Blixt was the only player in the field that week to post four subpar rounds, a debut he's unlikely to forget in a hurry. I was up there a couple of weeks before and kind of got the feeling of it and uh, I mean, it's every golfer's dream to be up there and uh, had a bunch of family and friends coming in that week which made it a little more special and um, kind of made me relax outside the golf course and just had a lot of fun which I can't disclose here but um, that was just a great week. He also didn't three part that week, quite a feat for a Masters debutant. I mean the greens are pure, I mean they're fantastic and uh, it's a lot of undulation in them and. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just hard because you can't really attack the holes there. You got to kind of lag them up there, and if they go in, they go in. It doesn't really matter, you know, how far they, how long the putt is. Um, and uh, I really didn't think about it that much, but um, no, very satisfying. Although Sweden has produced some world-class players over the last two decades, so far it can't lay claim to a major champion. Blixt certainly has the quality and the mentality to make it happen. And so does Henrik Stenson, the man who won the race to Dubai and the FedEx Cup in 2013. Jonas is a fan of Stenson's game and of his sense of humour, but is very much making his own way in the game. He's a world traveller, a little more than I am. and We see each other a couple of times a year. and I mean, he's a little older than me, he has a family and stuff like that. So. Um, no, we, we talk when we see each other um, and, uh, you know, golf is a little different. You, you're all your own person and you need different stuff and um, so it's hard to give advice all the time and uh, you can only say what you think and you don't want to get, you know, jinx someone saying like you shouldn't go to this golf course because of this and stuff like that and then we go to the golf course and when, you know, you can't say that either. So. If someone asks me a question, I'll be truthful, but um, I, I haven't asked too many questions to Henrik. He's, he's a good guy, always fun to be around, and um, always cracks a joke or two. One person Jonas does take advice from is his caddy, Zach Williamson. They've been a partnership since starting off on the Nationwide Tour back in 2011. As a golfer, you get a little hot-headed sometimes, and you, you don't take make the right decisions. And he's a little more calm and level-headed uh, during the, the during the round, and he can, in that way, make a little better decisions at times when things may not go right the right way or go in the right way. Um, you know, he's been with me so long, so he knows when I get a little, you know, adrenaline in my body, when to club down and club up. Um, I mean, he probably knows almost my, my game a little better than I do. A talented, free spirit with a good team around him, we can expect to see quite a bit more of Jonas over the coming years, especially if he continues to produce inspired moments like that.